Warren Brian Volhart was principal at Walters Elementary School last year, but he resigned during the investigation into his actions in June. The victim's guardian considers the boy her son. In an interview you'll only see on Action News, she told me she got angry that he quickly got another job as a vice principal in another district. Video from a cafeteria camera makes it clear. Walters Elementary School principal Brian Volhart shoved a student with special needs in June. The boy's guardian, Ann Frank, says Volhart called her and said the 10-year-old assaulted him and she should come pick up the boy. Almost immediately, the boy told Miss Frank it was the principal who was violent and knocked him to the ground. It took three months before Fresno Unified shared this video with Miss Frank and she saw exactly what happened. You cannot put force to these kids like that. My son is artistic. And any parent seeing this video, they know what I'm feeling right now. My son was pushed with force by this principal who was supposed to protect him. Fresno Unified put Volhart on administrative leave within a couple days, and he resigned during the investigation. Superintendent Bob Nelson called Volhart's behavior repugnant, and he said the video could be triggering, especially for the African-American community seeing a white principal shoving a black 10-year-old boy. While there's been zero information to lead us to believe that this was a racially motivated altercation, we are not blind to the fact that racial dynamics are always present. Ms. Frank didn't blame the incident on racism, but she said Volhart frequently bullied her boy and tried to provoke him. The district is offering resources for students, families, and teachers who are bothered by what they saw. They also notified the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing about Volhart's behavior. And we don't believe that any K-12 district should tolerate this kind of behavior. However, we don't make that decision for other districts. The state does. Golden Plains Unified made the decision to hire Volhart as a Tranquility High School vice principal shortly after he left Fresno Unified. CTC's website shows Volhart has an active certificate and no adverse reports. He even has a specialized certification for handling students with autism. He don't deserve to work in anybody else's school if he's working in one. He don't need to handle nobody else's kids. Who's to say how many other kids that he have done this to? Volhart hung up when I called him and identified myself as an ABC 30 reporter, but he has talked to police about the incident. An arrest warrant affidavit shows he said the boy was yelling and getting in his face. Volhart said the boy made fists and pressed them against the principal, which caused him to shove the victim. The case lingered for months at the Fresno Police Department until the victim's guardian complained two weeks ago about the lack of charges. Chief Paco Balderrama says he's upset he didn't see the video until a couple days ago, and he's implementing changes so even misdemeanor violence gets reviewed by a supervisor. Golden Plains Unified Administrators told me late today they found out about the incident yesterday. They saw the video today with everyone else. They placed Volhart on administrative leave today. He's also scheduled in court for arraignment later this month. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggart, ABC 30 Action News.